Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video will be a face of the day video. So if you're interested in knowing what products I use to create the look you see here, then please stay tuned. For All right, let's jump right into it. I'm going to give you a close up of the eyes. and the entire face. So for starters, I prime my face with my Monistat Shaping Relief Powder Gel and it looks like so. I absolutely love this stuff. You can pick it up at your local um, CVS, drugstore, Target, that type of thing. And it retails for less than $8 if I'm not mistaken. So I use this as a foundation um, primer so that my uh, foundation will have some longevity. So for starters, I'm going to get right into the face and what products that I did use. After priming my face with this, I went in with... A foundation I hadn't shown any love to for quite some time so I am trying to go through products in which I have purchased to try to get some use out of it so I opted for the Revlon color state whip foundation and it comes in a jar like so and the top of it states 24 hours and my shade is in caramel Uh, 340 caramel in fact when you open it up it has like a mousse type of consistency and this is what the inside of it looks like so I've had it for a little while and I do want to go ahead and get it um, used up um, it is a medium type coverage foundation you can certainly build it up to full coverage it is nice and light um, it boasts 24 hours, but I really don't need a foundation to last that long. I'm not wearing makeup for 24 hours, but there is some truth to the longevity. So I do like it. It's not something that I do grab every day, but again, I am trying to go through some of my products and get them used up. So I use that as a foundation. Um, for under eye concealer, I went in with the Maybelline brand, and this is the Fit Me I believe fit me found um, concealer and gosh guys I've had this one for a while I will have to do some research in terms of telling you what the shade is but this is what the product um, looks like and it has a wand the applicator looks like so so I pretty much place this under um, as an under eye concealer Next, I set my foundation, or rather my concealer, with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. And everyone should be familiar with this product. It is very, very popular. So hopefully my camera will focus. So there you go. The um, Ben Nye Banana Powder for down the bridge of my nose, under the eye, a little bit on the forehead, Cupid's bow, and just beneath my, on my chin. Okay, next I set my the rest of my face with another Ben Nye product, and this is the Ben Nye Translucent Face Powder in the shade Topaz, and this is what that looks like. Ben Nye has a variety of shades that will suit most skin tones, and it's really, really light. I do like the coverage. It doesn't give me any flashback um, when I am taking photographs, so thumbs up for that. So, as I think that's it for the face, so let's get into the eyes. I'll give you another close-up. Um, let's start with the brows, okay? For brows, I uh, filled in my brow with a, a product that I'm absolutely loving for the moment. And this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And my shade is in Brunette. And this is what the product looks like. Um, on one end is, of course, the, the actual product. It is a pencil, so you turn it up to dispense the product up. And then on the other end is, of course, like a spoolie so that you can shape, um, shape your brows or tame them into place. And that's what that looks like. Okay. So I filled in with that and I also uh, went in with the tail of my brow with a fluid line um, 
product from MAC and this is um, in the shade Dip Down. I don't know if my camera, I'm having some challenges with my camera focusing. But that's Dip Down and Dip Down is like a deep rich brown and that's what the inside of the product looks like. So uh, a little bit goes a long way you guys so I've had this for uh, a little bit. So let's get right into the eyes. As a primer, I use my Old Faithful Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is in, of course, the original formula. And again, this is another product I'm trying to use up. I have some other um, Urban Decay products that I'm also trying to open. So I'm trying to get through that quickly. Um, and as for an eyeshadow base, I went in with the Black Track, which is a flu another Fluid Line product from MAC comes in like a glass jar and this is black track um, simply like a rich black there it is very very rich and nice and creamy you can also use this as an eyeliner which I absolutely love doing but I don't do it too often now in terms of the crease of the eye I went in with two MAC shadows the first one being brown script and this is what brown script looks like brown script is a nice rich brown shadow with some red undertones to it. I absolutely love it. And I also went in to soften up the um, soften it up so to speak with soft brown from MAC. And this is what soft brown looks like. Alright, after again I mentioned I based my eyes with the um, black track. So I went on top of it with two um, Sephora brand shadows and this is from the Outrageous Prisma Chrome Collection and this is the Outrageous Metallic Lilac and this is what the product looks like and I will give you a swatch right there. It's absolutely pretty, really really pretty soft purple lilac color Next, I also use, um, from the same line, uh, Outrageous Metallic, and this is in the shade Purple, which is a little bit deeper than the um, Lilac shade. So I put that on the mobile lid. And for the outer corner, um, to darken up the look a little bit, I went in with the Vice Palette, the original one, and I chose a color in here called Black Market. And it's just simply, and here's Black Market there, it's simply a black matte um, eyeshadow. Any black um, matte shadow you may have in your collection will certainly suffice and do the same trick. Now for the inner corner of the eye, I went in from the Oz palette um, from Urban Decay. It looks like this. And this is the Glinda palette. And these shadows, this is what it looks like came out uh, about a year ago I believe and you can pop these out so I'm going to pop out the shadow I um, did use and this is my absolute favorite I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up if it does it's not really giving it any justice this is a nice shadow and this is in the shade Aura A-U-R-A -A. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but I went in with the lighter it's like two shade shadows in this uh, one um, pan and I went in with the lighter one, which I absolutely love. I love using that as an inner corner um, highlight to give some light to um, my eyes. So, I think that's it for shadows. Oh, with the exception of my highlight, I went in, I've created this little matte palette. Um, it's actually an e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow palette. But I went in and I made this for shadows I reach for the most. And this is, of course, rice paper. As you see, I have hit pan, and I'm going to probably need to replenish that pretty soon. So I use that as a highlight. Um, let's see, for my cheeks, well, let me back up. I line my inner, the, my waterline with the L'Oreal Volum Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And this is, of course, in black. This is a really, really nice, smooth, rich, and creamy product. I do recommend it. Now, for the cheeks, I did a little bit of contour, nothing really heavy, so I went in with the NYX Matte Bronzer, looks like that, and the shade is Deep Tan. And here's Deep Tan. 
on top of the bra my um, contouring I added some some blush and this is by MAC and this is the color raisin a nice deep rich um, a little bit of burgundy I would call it um, but it, I absolutely like it. I'll give you, uh, give you a quick swatch. And this is what Raisin um, looks like. I oftentimes, a couple of times, I have used this in the crease of my eye to create a look. Um, so I do use my blushes for eyeshadows on occasion. I also uh, went and swept a little bit of the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection. And this is in Rose Golden Goddess just to give a little shimmer to the look and it looks like so you pick this up from I believe I got this from Walgreens and here's a swatch of that I don't know if it's going to pick up on the back of my hand but here it is and for a um, highlight to highlight the tops of my cheeks I went in with a Sephora brand product and this is the Micro Smooth in Stardust. If I can get it open, and here is Stardust. And here it is on the back of my hand. This is such a lovely, lovely um, product. I do enjoy using it. And this is something I've been grabbing um, for as a highlight for most, most of the time when I am creating a look. Now, in terms of lips, I will come in and give you a closer view of that because I am absolutely loving this lipstick. You see that, guys? Mmm, amazing. This is a lipstick called Home Girl from Kat Von D. And this is what the packaging looks like. This is my app. I think this is my very first Kat Von D lip product. So. I'm excited about it and here it is home girl this is an absolutely perfect shade for fall and I'll give you a swatch of it so you can see is that amazing or what simply gorgeous I absolutely think this is such a pretty color uh, and so fall appropriate but to line the lip I did go in first with Vino by Mac as which is a lip pencil and I'll give you a swatch of Vino and here's Vino right there so that is um, what I use to create the look you see here what do you think thumbs up the video if you like it and um, leave any comments or suggestions that you may have for me in the comment section below so thank you so much for your support and um, supporting my channel rather and I hope to be chatting with you on the next video. Bye guys!